Early History of the Schmuckers by John D. Schmucker and Joseph A. Miller, copyright 2022 The Religious and Political Climate of Switzerland The Schmuckers were found living in the beaten tongue area of Switzerland as early as 1050 AD. Hundreds of years later, they still inhabited the country. As we fast forward to the 16th century, we find the Schmuckers living in the Canton Bern. They were probably a part of the Reformed or Roman Catholic churches at this time. There was growing tension in the city of Zurich and the surrounding areas. This was a time of change, excitement, chaos and turmoil as the Reformation gained momentum and challenged the status quo. There was a lot of rethinking about how Christianity was expressed and lived out. One of the results was what became known as the Radical Reformation or Anabaptism. January 21, 1525 is considered by most to be the beginning of the Anabaptists' movement when Conrad Grebel baptized George Blorock, and Blorock in turn baptized several others immediately. These baptisms were the first rebaptisms known in the movement. Thus, Anabaptism was born. These people did not like the term Anabaptist, but referred to themselves simply as the Swiss Brethren. Most Anabaptists were non-resistant who opposed war and the use of coercion to maintain the social order. They also refused to swear oaths, including those to civil authorities. For this and their teachings regarding rebaptism and for the perceived danger they posed to the religious and political order, persecution began. The Protestants under Zwingli were the first to persecute the Anabaptists, with Felix Manns becoming the first Anabaptist martyr on January 5, 1527. On May 20, 1527, Roman Catholic authorities executed Michael Sattler. Even the Lutheran Augsburg Confession of 1530 included the following among a number of condemnations. We condemn Anabaptists who forbid Christians to hold office, and We condemn Anabaptists who reject the baptizing of children and say that children are safe without baptism. While many groups were thought to be a source of unrest, the Anabaptist movement was viewed as a threat by both political and church leaders. To quell this unrest and centralize power in Europe, Charles V outlawed the Anabaptist movement in 1527 and ordered that all Anabaptists be exterminated. As a result, Anabaptists were severely persecuted. Thousands were banished, imprisoned, drowned, beheaded or burned at the stake. In 1671, because of persecution by the government and the state church, a large group of Anabaptists left Switzerland for the Palatinate in Germany. Others fled across Europe and eventually to the Americas in search of freedom to practice their faith. Persecution continued in Switzerland at least until 1810. Many persecuted Anabaptists fled to Alsace, France, just across the border, to avoid persecution. Henri and Barbara Malblanchmucker were living in Bern, Switzerland, in 1761. By 1762, they were living in Alsace. It is likely they had recently joined the Anabaptists. Despite all the suffering and hardship, they endured. They learned to live, work and provide for their families in the midst of it.